everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am back on Kerbal Space Program, and today I'm going to be flying out uh, my Thunderbird 1 replica. So this is a replica of the original design of Thunderbird 1 from the original TV show. It is a fully stock vehicle, although it does use parts from the new Making History DLC. For example, you've got the Mark II Command Pod, the Cub engine, which we have quite a few of, and also a Skiff engine in the back. The other engines on the vehicle is there's another there's a vector glitched in with this uh, with the skiff just to give it a bit more power, and there's also a vector facing downwards for the vertical takeoff and landing. Uh, main difference from the actual Thunderbird one from the TV show is that instead of having landing legs for wheels, I have just normal wheels instead of landing legs. Main reason for that is the landing legs in game are not long enough or the right sort of angle and size, as well as wheels just make it a lot easier you've got braking power which is a lot more useful anyway though so let's get this thing in the air and see what it can do okay so we're going to start up the vertical takeoff and landing engine so let's go bit of thrust there we go gear up so let's pull away we'll try flying through one of these hangars so we're going to fire up the hub engines and also the skiff Okay, we're at good enough speed to shut down the vertical takeoff and landing. There we go. So we're going to go around and try and fly through one of these hangars. As you can see, it's not the most stable aircraft, though it is very manoeuvrable due to the gyros. It does require infinite propellant and infinite electricity, although um, I don't really mind it so much. If it's not a legitimate sort of satellite launcher or an actual rocket, I don't really mind it. It's not too bad. Okay, so we're going to try and fly through this hangar. So we're going in. Just got to get perfectly lined up. Be very careful not to hit this hill. Don't want to hit it because we have got the uh, the fin underneath. Okay, full power. Skiff on. There we go. So we flew through. Let's fire up the vector. There we go. Great acceleration uphill. So now we're going to fly back to the space center, which is uh, all over there. So we're going to go all the way over to the space center now. And we're going to see, uh, we're just going to fly around really, like maybe land on the VAB, see how it performs. Alright, so we're back at the Space Center now, going to see what this thing can do. So let's go do some maneuvers, turning around the space plane hangar, trying to do sort of an S-turn around the space plane hangar and the VAB. There we go, oh, pull up, don't crash, don't crash, oh, there we go, that was pretty close. VAB, maybe then go for a landing. So let's go up and try to do a landing on the VAB. And shut off the engine. There we go. Looks like we're going in. Okay, slowing the burn a bit. Bit of a heavy landing, but there we go. Nothing seems to have broken. So there we go, landing on the VAB. Let's uh, go up again, see if we can maybe fly under the bridge. Which might be a bit difficult. I'll try it in vertical flight, but trying it in level flight due to this thing's very poor maneuverability could be a bit of a problem. Put the gear up. There we go. Went through. Go back over the top. There we go. So let's transition back into vertical flight. Okay, I'll try the bridge in uh, in vertical flight. See if we can do it. Okay, so I just need the right sort of angle. Um, put the engines on a low burn. There we go. So this angle doesn't look too bad. I might. I'll use this. not to hit the tail pull up full power oh there we go did it so anyway um flying pretty well let's uh, land it back on the vab again and uh that will pretty much be the end of the video so uh just a quick thing if anyone does want the craft file let me know in the comments and i will put it up and send you a link in uh, in a reply um it is relatively difficult to fly um, and you do need infinite fuel and infinite prop in the cheat menu. But other than that, it's fully stock. As long as you have the 
making history expansion pack it will work perfectly fine if you don't have the expansion pack you will be missing a lot of the engines which isn't exactly good it probably won't even let you open the vehicle anyway though so uh here we go landing bit more power oh okay it was a bit another heavy landing it's not the easiest thing to land really uh, you've got to be very accurate with the power let's just try doing another practice landing there we go did it okay well anyway that was my replica thunderbird one i hope you en all enjoyed the video if you did please consider leaving a like maybe even subscribe to the channel be, if you do that would be absolutely brilliant getting close to 200 subscribers now so it'd be really good if we could hit that milestone relatively soon anyway thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time